बिग स्क्रीन हो जाए So Kashi or Varanasi is said to be the first uh, place where civilization was born in this world, like you know, by the banks of the river Ganga. That's written in a lot of our uh, books and uh, scriptures. It was the idea of like, what if our story ended here? Like that was the first city. Like what if this world now has only one city left, and everybody in the world and all the resources and all the major conflict now happens here in Kashi. So that was the setting. For Kaliji, and uh, now we are in a world where the most life-giving river, the Ganga, is dry, and people in Kasi are just living uh, in just like a very brutal survival of the fittest sort of way. And above them towers the complex. Like uh, maybe you guys have seen in the trailer or something, like this massive mega city sort of structure, like an inverted pyramid type. Is a kilometer into the sky, so that is the complex which has essentially everything. It's like paradise. It has all the greenery, resources, water, food, animals, everything that is not there in the world before. It's almost like a microcosm of what the world used to be like. And now it's the story is merely set up here. It's between these two worlds: the people who are in the complex who control those resources and the people who are. Below in Kasi, who don't have access, and and these people in Kasi only just have a dream to enter the complex. In a way, it becomes a cycle. So, for you to do the work to earn money to get into the complex is like one trap that you end up working for the complex, and you finish your life before you can actually get in. So, it's like one sort of a cycle, which is sort of something that happens today as well. Apart from these two worlds, there's also a third world in which we call Shambhala. Shambhala is something that we hear in many cultures, like even in Tibetan culture, it's called Shangri-La. Yeah, every culture has a name, which is a mystical land, which is hidden from the world, and that's where some people say advanced beings, some people say the avatar, some people say many things. Like how the name Shambhala itself is very connected to the myth of Kalki, to the legend of Kalki, because it's said that this is where the final avatar will come. That is the most uh, powerful, and that is the most familiar thing about the Kalki story. So these are our three worlds, and each of these worlds have uh, a design or a thought process behind it. The complex people and the weapons and their vehicles are designed in a certain way because of what they have. People in Kasi are designed in a certain way because of what they have. The world, you know, there's money, which is units, and they are bounty hunters who need these units. Uh, to get their job done or to finish their aspiration to want to go into the complex, and there's this third world which is Shambhala, which is essentially the refuge. Uh, it's like a massive refugee camp in a way, like for all the religions and all the cultures that have been hunted down in this world by the complex. So they all need a place to hide. The people in Shambhala are are part. Refugees, part rebels, part the resistance who are fighting the, the complex. So the story is basically between these three worlds, and uh, each of them are very unique in their own way, and how their paths cross, and how the story goes. Forward. Kalki Kalki Kalki